I think it's an interesting time. I think it's very polarizing. It's probably what we would say. Uh, like, I think his his chance of being re-elected are surprisingly high for the amount of bad press he gets. <laughs> get rid of him. Get rid of him. Okay, how do we do that? Well, you got to get people involved. Spread the word. Mm -hmm. It's not forward. It's not side, left, not right. It's forward. Mm -hmm. Gang, gang. It's definitely not backwards. That's right. Right. The only backwards right. is the guy that's running the show right now. I would say encourage the investigation. Is that like writing your senator or anything like that, or just? Oh, um, well, make comments, make public comments, such as this. Uh, yes, get in touch with your your House of Representative, your state senator, your governor, you know, whoever whoever you know in the political realm. Unfortunately, people need to get involved. They really need to think it through, and that's not something most people are willing to do these days. But but yeah, I mean, everybody needs. I think people need to get both sides of the equation, and right. and not just not just listen to conservative, or not just listen to liberal. And yeah. you're a registered voter, right? Yes, I am. So I'm you do a plan on voting for I'm a registered soon. Republican, in fact. But oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm, not a, I'm just not a Trump fan. I don't. So bipartisanship is really important. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's supposed to be for the whole country, not just for one side. Well, we're impeaching him now. We're trying to, at least. There's an inquiry going on. He's, in my mind, totally corrupt. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to wait to vote him out of office because he's trying to corrupt our next election. So why should we wait on that? I'm really, I'm really hoping he gets his just due. Uh, I'm not a very punitive person. I like mercy, but I think he's caused a lot of damage. I like him to pay some consequences for that. I think, uh, I think we're in big trouble right now, and I think, uh, I think no book's gonna make a difference. <laughs> no book's gonna make a difference. Not even making light about it. It is a comedy. Comedy's good, though. I think comedy's the answer. I mean, the world's in chaos anyway, so... I think that this uh, talk of impeachment is uh, something that should probably be followed through with, not because I think that the president is the only thing wrong with the current situation, mm -hmm. but I think that it would set a nice example that we do have some standards. I think, I think uh, everybody is so distracted by all the bombs he drops that everybody's just following, oh, God, look at this, this, and this, and this. The deal is, is he's still under audit from the IRS. He should have never been allowed to run for president in the first place. Right. Those you know New I mean? York taxes. You like can't, that. you can't run for dog catcher in L.A. without. Don't go through your Facebook. Yeah. Don't go through your, your taxes, your credit. You're all telling that. me I tried. I got denied. And this guy is, you know, come on. I mean, he's a shady business guy from way back. Yeah. Uh, right. So, and you can't just, you can't run a, co a country like a company. You can't, There's, you can't. Stuff's it's not true. profitable. The only way the military is profitable is if we go Very loot true. other countries. Right. The now. only way insurance is profitable is if they don't pay you your claim.